Speed, action. Sure, I went to college. Three of them. <laughs> Every time they kicked me out, my father threw me back in. Finally gave up. He thinks I'm a awfully small fry, not worth the bait. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, you my friend, guy? Yeah, man. I'm your friend, Bruno. No, you're not. Nobody thinks I'm anything special. No, only my mother. <laughs> my father hates me. You must be imagining things, man. Um, and I hate him. Yeah, he thinks uh, I ought to catch the 8-5 bus every morning, punch a time clock, and work my way up selling paint or something, uh, him you know, with all this money. What do you want to do? Uh, well, uh, you mean before or after I kill him? <laughs> uh, uh, before, of course. Uh, I don't know. I, I want to do everything. Uh, I, I got a theory. Uh, you're supposed to do everything before you die. Yeah, you know, like, uh, like, have you ever driven a car blindfolded at 150 miles an hour? Uh, not lately, no. Mm. <laughs> I did. And I, and I, and I flew a jet, too. <sighs> Man, that was a thrill. I almost blew the sawdust out of my head. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make a reservation on the first rocket to the moon. Um, what are, you, what are you trying to prove, man? Uh, look, I'm not like you, guy. You're lucky. I mean, you're smart. Uh, marrying the boss's daughter is a nice shortcut to a career, isn't it? I uh, take... Let's... <laughs> marrying the senator's daughter has nothing to do with it. Can a fellow look past tennis without being called a gold digger? Hey, take it easy, boy. <laughs> I'm your friend, remember? I'd do anything for you. Yeah, sure, Bruno, sure. Yeah. We'll be pulling in soon. Got to change trains. Right. Hey, would you say her name was? Uh, your wife. Uh, Miriam. Yeah, that's it. Miriam Joyce. Haynes. She played around a lot, huh? I suppose. Yeah, well, let's not talk about it anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, well, maybe she'll make more trouble for you. I don't think so. I mean, you got enough on her to uh, get the divorce no matter what? Yeah, look, let's just change the subject. Okay, Bruno? Okay, guy. You want to tell me, uh, you want me to tell you what, uh, ideas I have for murdering my father. <laughs> Read too many of these. Come on. Uh, hey, you want to hear about the busted light socket in the bathroom? Or the carbon monoxide in the garage? Uh, look, I might be old fashioned, but I thought murder was against the law. Hmm. Choo-choo! Chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga. Speed. Action. Walter. Right. Tell me, Walter. On this insurance, how much commissions do you make? Mm, 20%. Why? Well, I thought maybe I could throw a little more business your way. Oh. Well, you know I could always use it. <laughs> I was thinking about my husband. I worry a lot about him. Down in those oil fields, it's very dangerous. Not for an executive, is it? Oh, he doesn't just sit behind a desk. He's right down with the drilling crews. Oh. It's got me worried sick. You mean a crown block might fall on him? On a, some rainy night? Please don't talk like that. But that's the idea, right? Oh, the other day a casing line snapped and caught the foreman. He's in the hospital with a broken back. Oof, bad. It's got me jittery just thinking about it. Suppose something like that happened to my husband. Good.
Don't you think he ought to have some accident insurance? Mm-hmm. What kind of insurance could he have? Well, enough to cover doctors and hospital bills. Say, 125 cash week benefit. And he'd rate around 50,000 capital sum. Hmm, capital sum? What's that? Oh, well, that's if he got killed. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I suppose you have to think about everything in your business. Mr. Didrikson would understand, I think. I'm sure I could sell him on the idea of some accident protection. Why don't I go talk to him about it? Oh, you could try, but he's pretty tough going. Well, you know, they're all tough at first. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot on his mind. He doesn't want to listen to anything but baseball. Game on the radio. Sometimes we sit all night, not saying anything, not even a word to each other. Yeah, sounds pretty dull. So I just sit and knit. Is that what you're very old for? Well, maybe I like the way his thumbs hold up the wool. <laughs> Anytime his thumbs get tired. <laughs> I want to ask you something, Mr. Neff. Could I get an accident policy for him without bothering him at all? Hmm, how's that again? That would make it easier for you, too. Um, you wouldn't want to have to talk to him. I have a little allowance of my own. I could pay for it and... You know, he wouldn't need to know anything about it. Well, wait a minute. Why shouldn't he know? <laughs> because I don't want him. He doesn't want any accident insurance. He's superstitious about it. A lot of people are. Funny, isn't it? Well, if there is a way to get it like that, I mean, all the worry would be over. You see what I mean, Walter? Sure. I've got good eyesight. You want him to have the policy without him knowing it. Mm -hmm. And that means without the insurance company knowing that he doesn't know. Of course. That's the setup, isn't it? Is there anything wrong with it? I think it's lovely. And then, some dark wet night, that crown block fell on him. What crown block? Only sometimes they have to make, have a little help. They can't quite make it on their own. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course, it doesn't have to be a crown block. It can be a car backing him over. Or he could fall the ups from the upstairs window. Think of that. Mm -hmm. Any little thing like that. Are you crazy? As long as it's a morgue job. Are you crazy? Not that crazy. Uh, you know what? Goodbye, Mrs. Dickerson. But well, what's the matter? Look, baby. You can't get away with this, okay? Get away with what? You want him, you want him dead, don't you? <laughs> That's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> who would you think I was, anyway? Guy who walks into a good-looking dame's parlor and says, Oh, good afternoon. I sell accident insurance for husbands. On husbands. You got one that's been around too long? Maybe one you want to turn into some cold hard cash? Yeah. Come on in. <laughs> and action. Uh, sure, well, I went to college. Uh, three of them. Every time they kicked me out, my father threw me back in. Um, I mean, he finally gave up. Yeah, he thinks I'm... An awful small fry. You know, not, not worth the bait. Uh, are you my friend, guy? Sure. I'm your friend. Nah, nah, you're not. Nobody thinks I'm anything special. Only my mother. My father hates me. You must be imagining things. Nah. I hate him. He thinks I ought to catch the, you know, eight to five bus every morning, punch a time clock, and work way up my way of painting or something. Him with all his money. Well, what do you want to do? You mean before or after I kill him? Before, of course. I want to do everything. I got a theory you're supposed to do everything before you die. Have you ever ridden in a car, blindfolded, 100 miles per hour? 
Not lately. Oh, I mean, I did. I flew jet too. <laughs> Man, that's a thrill. Almost blow the sawdust out of my eyes. I'm gonna make a res. res my bad. I get a little tingly. But, um, you know, when the moon comes up, I'm gonna make a reservation to go on the first trip to the moon. What are you trying to prove? I'm not like you, guy. You're lucky. You're smart. Marrying the boss's daughter is a nice shortcut to your career, isn't it? Marrying the senator's daughter has nothing to do with it. Can a fellow look past a tennis? Not without being a gold digger? No, no, take it easy, boy. I, I'm your friend, remember? I, I'd do anything for you. Sure, Bruno, sure. We'll be pulling in soon. I've got to change the trains. What do you say your name was? I mean, your wife. Miriam. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it, Miriam Joyce Haynes. Played around a lot, I suppose. Uh, let's not talk about that anymore. Maybe she'll make more trouble for you. I don't think so. You mean you got enough of her to get your divorce no matter what? Let's change the subject, Bruno. Can't we? Okay, guy, I, I want me to tell you the ways of ideas for murdering my father. You've been reading too many of these. You want to hear about the busted light socket in the bathroom? Or uh, the carbon monoxide in the garage? No. I may be old-fashioned, but I thought murder was against the law.